this video I will discuss hemoglobin estimation by cyanmet hemoglobin method. This is an internationally recommended method for estimation of the hemoglobin. Principle Blood is diluted with Rapkin solution containing potassium ferricyanide and potassium cyanide. The red cells are hemolyzed and free the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin oxidizes into methemoglobin by the potassium ferricyanide. Methemoglobin converts to the stable cyan methemoglobin by potassium cyanide. Absorbance of the solution is measured by the spectrophotometer at wavelength 540 nanometer or by colorimeter using yellow green filter against the reagent plank. Equipment Pipettes Spectrophotometer or the colorimeter. Reagents. Rapkin's reagent. This solution contains potassium ferricyanide. It converts the hemoglobin into methemoglobin. Potassium cyanide. It converts the methemoglobin into the stable hemoglobin cyanide. Potassium dihydrogen phosphate. Act as a buffering agent to maintain the pH of the solution. Non-ionic detergent. Remove the turbidity by the plasma proteins. Distill water. Hemolysis of the red cells. Properties of the solution. The pH of the solution should be checked every month and it should be maintained between 7 to 7.4. It is unstable if exposed to light. The solution should be clear and pale yellow in color. When measured against distilled water as the blank in a spectrophotometer at the wavelength 540 nanometer, the absorbance should be zero. Storage of the solution At room temperature in a brown borosilicate glass bottles. If the temperature is more than 30 degrees Celsius, store in the refrigerator but brought to room temperature before use. The solution should not be frozen. Discard the solution. It found to be turbid. Its pH is outside the range. And the absorbance other than 0 at 540 nanometer against a water blank. Hemoglobin standard solution. This is commercially available at a specific concentration. Stored in brown bottle as it is photosensitive. Concentration is mentioned on the bottle. Sample Whole blood collected into EDTA or capillary blood sample. Procedure Label the test tube as test and the blank. Take 4 ml of Drapkin solution in the label test tube. Mix blood sample by gentle inversion and take 20 microliters of blood into the pipette. Wipe out surface of the pipette tip by using a gauze to remove excess blood. Add the blood into the Drapkin solution and mix well. Stand for 5 minutes to complete the reaction. Measure the absorbance at 540 nanometer in the spectrophotometer against the Drapkin solution as the blank. Calculation of the hemoglobin concentration by using this formula or the standard curve. Preparation of the calibration graph. In a laboratory where several samples are tested in a day and this is very important to standardize the test method. For this you will require Drapkin solution and the st hemoglobin standard. The concentration of the standard used in this demonstration is 160 grams per liter. Make serial dilutions of the standard solution with Drapkin's solution. In the first test tube, take 4 ml of standard solution. Here, this is pure standard, therefore the dilution factor is 1. Second test tube, mix 3 ml standard and 1 ml of Drapkin solution. The dilution of the solution is 1 in 4 or 0 
In the third test tube, 2 ml of standard and 2 ml of Trapkin solution. The dilution factor is 0 0.5. In the fourth test tube, mix 1 ml of standard and 3 ml of Trapkin solution. The dilution factor is 0 0.25. In the fifth test tube, take 4 ml of Trapkin solution. Take the absorbance at 540 nanometer of the solutions prepared according to the table against the blank of the Trapkin solution. Using linear graph paper, plot the absorbance values on the vertical axis and the hemoglobin values on the horizontal axis. The point should be a straight line that passes through the zero. After absorbance of the sample is taken, the corresponding hemoglobin value can be directly read by the protein on the graph. For the example, the absorbance of the test is 0.32. The, therefore, the corresponding hemoglobin value should be 105 grams per liter or the 10.5 grams per deciliter. From this graph, it is possible to construct a table of readings and corresponding hemoglobin values. This is more convenient when large numbers of measurements are made. A new calibration graph should be prepared whenever test method, photometer or the colorimeter, when a bulb or the component, cuvette type or the reagent lot is changed. Advantages of the method All forms of hemoglobin except self hemoglobin are converted cyan meth hemoglobin. A reliable and stable reference standard is available. Reaction time is short. Disadvantages Potassium cyanide is a poisonous substance. The detergent causes some frothing. Abnormal plasma protein and high leukocyte counts causes turbidity. Centrifuging the diluted blood can help overcome the turbidity. Thank you.